Hello everyone, Neil Tappin here from Golf Monthly and welcome to the London Club and this video in which we're going to take a look at the most underrated golf products of 2022. Now these are all things that we feel as if maybe haven't had quite the level of limelight they deserve, things that have performed really well and that we think people should know about. Now you're going to hear from quite a few members of the Golf Monthly team here, myself, Dan Parker, Martin Hopley, Joel Tabman are each going to pick two products each to talk about. Right, let's head out onto the golf course here at the London Club, get started. So for my most underrated product of 2022, I'm going to talk about this. It's the Wilson Infinite Buckingham Putter. Uh, now I bought this for myself uh, about a year ago because I forgot my putter one day and had to buy this one from the pro shop. It was the only left-handed one. Um, but I bought it for a couple of reasons. I like the spider shape a lot. Uh, I like that it's got a toe hang. You don't get that very often uh, in a mallet putter, so it suits my putting arc. Um, and I've gotten really, really well with it since uh, I first bought it. You see it's a bit battered and bruised, but that's because I lost the head cover uh, and I've been using it so much. Um, but why do I like it so much? Well, to start, let's talk about the price because a lot of putters nowadays sort of sit above that £250, $250 mark. This is just £119 RRP, but I think you can pick it up for even cheaper now, closer to 100 uh, which is a great space for a putter to be in and one that looks as premium as this and performs as well as it as well. Uh, now it feels super soft off the face so I can feel like I can hit the putts quite hard and I love this alignment tool on the top as well with the three lines. It really helps me frame the ball and line up correctly. Um, so with that forgiveness you've got for the perimeter weighting, the brilliant alignment tool I've found, short putts like this very very easy to hold. Uh, now finally the absolute highlight of this uh, is the grip it's got a really nice shape into it, it fits in my hands nicely uh, and this really flat top edge here allows my thumbs just to point down it nice and straight keep my hands nice and quiet as well so a lot going for this putter really um, and on top of that it's it's really really cheap in that market space um, so one i think you should really be checking out and one that's definitely underrated for 2022. So my first underrated product of 2022 is the Cobra Air X Iron. Now this is a lightweight game improvement iron and the reason I chose this is because it was just really fun and enjoyable to hit. It's really user friendly, gets the ball up in the air super easy. I was able to hit some really nice high draws with this club and it was consistent as well. It's got a lot of perimeter weighting built in so it was forgiving off center which gives you that margin for error you need if you're in that mid to high handicap section. Um, of the market. I think it looks really cool as well and it comes in at a really appealing price. I think it's around £600 or $700 for a set and I think that represents exceptional value for money given how uh, easy this was to hit. I think it looks pretty cool as well in the bag and also a dress is really confidence inspiring down behind the ball so it ticks an awful lot of boxes for the game proven golfer who wants to hit more accurate iron shots and have a bit of fun while doing it. Well, I've been reviewing a lot of putters this year, and I think my underrated putters are really going to be technology that you might have seen before, which has come back again this year. I'm going to give a quick mention to the Odyssey White Hot OG, which is that White Hot insert, which has come back in a whole variety of styles, and you can get that for under £200 with a steel shaft, so please check that out. But something that's maybe a little bit more niche is the Zebra AIT-1 putter. This has recreated the original Ram Zebra putter. It's got the same look and feel, but the head's just a little bit bigger. It's a little bit deeper as well. And this time around, they've actually got a steel insert in the face with some grooves on it, which really helps the ball roll really well. They've got some weights in the sole, and this really has increased the MOI. So whilst the original was one of the most forgiving mallets, this has really taken it forward and reinvented it for the modern age. And I think it's a great looking putter. It's got a nice rounded head. It's got some great alignment lines on it, which can really help you line up. And just the increase in MOI gives, makes this a really forgiving putter. It's fun to look at, it's fun to use, it's very forgiving, and that'd be one to check out if you're looking for something different. Okay, so my first pick is the PXG 0211 Hybrid, the one that's just been launched towards the end of 2022. And I think the reason that I would say this is possibly a little bit underrated, um, two reasons. Firstly, because you're not gonna see this in many pro shops. It, many golfers are not gonna get the chance to sort of put it down and give it a waggle and see what it looks like. And then also, because the driver comes in at such a, um, a good, very competitive price point of $299. People might feel as if PXG is stripping back on some of the performance ac across the wood range, but I don't think that's necessarily the case. And with this, this comes in at $249. So it's not that big sort of saving that you might get with, um, with the driver. The reason that I like this hybrid so much I think is the versatility that it offers. It's got a really sort of quite compact look down behind the ball. I'm thinking of 
maybe sort of like Adam's hybrids, or some, some classic hybrids of years gone by that many people will know and love. Um, it sits beautifully down behind the ball. It's got a really sleek, simple alignment aid, a little bit of, of obs offset in it. And when I've hit it on a launch monitor already on the golf course, it's offered a really strong ball flight that's offered me good, kind of good distance if I'm using it off a tee, but then that ability to get also good distance when I haven't got a great lie in the rough. And I think it's that versatility that means I like it so much. I'm going to test it out really quickly now. Uh, eighth hole here on the international course at the London Club, one of the hardest holes on the golf course. I've come right to the back of the, the back tee. So I'm really going to put it through its paces with this shot. <laughs> Be good. Oh, it's gone over the back. It's gone way over the back. I've got a little bit too much club, but it's gone straight at the flag. So I really like this hybrid. It would be my first nomination for the most underrated club of 2022. My next underrated product is the Edel SMS Wedge. Now, Edel is not necessarily a brand that many golfers have heard of, but it makes some pretty cool stuff, makes some cool putters. It has adjustable irons and this adjustable wedge. So uh, as you can see, there's three weight ports in the back of the head and this, the red one, is the slightly heavier weight. So you're able to move the heavier weight around to alter the ball flight. And I was skeptical before I tried it as to how much impact that would have on the ball flight in the field, but it really worked for me. So I tend to turn my wedges over a little bit too much from right to left, and this definitely neutralized that. And also I tend to strike my wedge shots a little bit out of the toe. So having that heavier weight in the toe position just made the wedge feel a little bit more solid and give me more consistent results. So. It's a concept that not many manufacturers utilize or benefit from, but having movable weight did seem to have a tangible uh, benefit to me in terms of improving accuracy and overall performance. And the other thing I like about these wedges, it has quite aggressive sole grinds. So there's a few different grinds available. This is a T grind. It's fairly aggressive. It really does allow you to manipulate the club face and alter the ball flight on different chip shots from different lies around the green. And uh, it's got that milled kind of finish on the sole, which I think helps it skid through uh, the ground a little bit better, especially if the turf's slightly damp. So all in all, I really enjoyed um, what this Eagle SM Edge wedge has to offer. Probably won't offer the most amount of spin versus the competition, but I think given the other attributes that it has, it's a strong contender for one of the most underrated products this year. My second underrated product is the utility iron from Srixon, which is a Srixon ZX. A lot of good players want a nice blade iron, but you also want some forgiveness too. And I think the ZX does the best of both worlds. You've got a nice, generously sized head with a bit of forgiveness in there. They've got some tugs to weight in it to help them get the ball airborne and really help with that MOI. But you've also got a forged face uh, and a head that looks quite like an iron at a dress. Obviously, it's a little bit bigger to the back, but it doesn't really feel like that when you play it. The feel is excellent and the sand is good as well. So it really makes you feel like you've got a forged iron. And whilst you don't only have the benefit of that, it also is going to fit into any set of blades or sort of semi-cavity back irons that you have. So this is sneaky good. It doesn't get a lot of exposure. So that is my choice for an underrated utility iron of this year. Okay, so my second choice is the Vice Pro Golf Ball. And the version that I particularly like was the Pro Plus, which is for golfers with driver swing speeds in excess of 110 miles per hour. And what I really liked about this was it offered really good distance in the long game. That part I was expecting. I think I was averaging about 285 off the tee with these. So really good performance in the long game, but I was also getting great control with my mid iron, so good flight with my seven iron, and then lots of stopping um, control when I was hitting wedge shots into the green. The last thing I'll say about this is they've got a fantastic finish. They've got that sort of classic tour played urethane coloured finish to them. I don't know quite how to describe it, but I really like it. And I also like the branding too. Now, Vice might well be a brand that has escaped your attention. If it has, these come in around about $35 per dozen. And in my experience, they're well worth trying for yourself. Okay, so my second underrated product is another one from Wilson. It's this, it's the Wilson Triad golf ball. Now this sits in that mid price range for golf balls. It's sort of that non-tour urethane cover. So you're getting plenty of performance from it, uh, but you're not paying the full price of some of the more expensive balls. So that's a big tick for it to start off. And the reason I think it's so underrated is for that price, uh, you get a really premium looking ball. Something to do with the, the sheen of the white. It's a bit duller, the font of the Wilson and this triad lining up aid. I think looks really premium. Performance wise, you get really soft feel around the greens. I like that soft feel off the putter face and off my wedge especially, but you don't lose too much distance. I find I can create a really penetrating ball flight with this 
with my driver. It doesn't spin up too much like some other balls do. So I think one that's definitely underrated this year, a really good price, a really premium look and feel, uh, and one I think you should really check out. So there you have it. That's our look at the most underrated products of 2022. All things that we thought performed really well and that golfers should be well aware of. Uh, if you'd like to know more, please head over to the Golf Monthly website where you'll be able to find full reviews on all of those products. But for now, from the London Club, it's goodbye.